Hi, it's Simon here from Patchpool. Uh, today I want to show you some boat China symbol patches I made for my new Falcon Air library. I sampled oh, at least 10 different Chinese opera samples, uh, symbols, <laughs> and some of them also produced very nice tones when bowing them with a violin or cello bow. So now we have three patches using those uh, Bow China symbols. The first one here is named Bow China All Untuned, where I laid out all 32 Bow symbols I made, um, only mapped on the white keys. And you see those color zones. Um, each zone determines the symbol I used. So that we have four symbols with four color zones. And um, yeah, let's just listen and look at the controls, w which I mapped here, which are yeah, 20 plus macros maybe. I'll turn the reverb down now, delay, delay time. Delay feedback. Reverb decay. You can also freeze the reverb. And all these controls can, of course, be automated in your door. Just right click, assign to host automation, and you're done. But let's start at the top. So, of course, we have attack, decay, sustain, release. They all have. Of course, a slow attack by nature, but um, you can even shape those. If you turn down the sustain, for instance, Then you have a bipolar tuning, tuning each symbol up and down one and a half octaves. They all release a uh, looped alternate using alternate looping. Let's have a look at one of those. You can also use the pitch wheel, which goes in up an octave and down an octave. So now it comes back. And you see the pan knob here is already moving because we have pan modulation. can be dialed in. And you can also determine the pan mod speed. Then you also have a stereo mod modulation, which uh, uses the the stereo wide plugin in Falcon, uh, creating some something like flanging effects and widening the stereo field. like slow flanging. This is inserted on layer level here. This is the UV, the wide module.
Then you have audio rate modulation, adding a very, f very fast, like in the audible range. And for that, I use I use a um, multi envelope here. You see, it's set to what is it? Four milliseconds times three point six, <laughs> and the speed is also modulated by something else, by another LFO. So you have constantly changing, very fast pitch mod. The modulation wheel adds vibrato and aftertouch decreases vibrato speed. See? Then you have a master low pass filter. Wave Shaper and some nasty distortion or semi nasty. So you see um, a lot of tones and sounds can be achieved with that patch. Now we have a granular version where I used um, only the cymbals with a distinct uh, clear pitch. Some of them have like chords in them, but some of them have a distinct pitch. So it makes for some... haunting, pad-like, metallic sounds. And you have two key, key switches here. The first one is just the cymbals in layer one. They use two cymbals plus a third one in the, in the second velocity zone, which has more overtones. Modulation wheel. So with the modulation wheel you can scan through the samples. I 
as you see the speed is actually set to zero so you have like six grain streams hovering over the main part of the sound and then with the mod wheel you shift the grain position to the right for key switch one, meaning the main symbols, and add chorus, here's the volume control, delay and reverb, now key switch two adds a plug synth module, which actually also uses the boat symbol for the excitation of the um, physical modeling resonances. So you can add that to the main sound and then balance the volume. This is only the plug module. You can tune it down. And actually it's using a stretched version of one of the symbols. So it lasts for about 30, 40 seconds. So you can play long tones with, the, with this plug synth and add that to the... Then you tune up the plug module. symbols with a distinct pitch in normal sampling mode. Here you see all the key groups which are looped and let's listen to that. And here you can either determine sample start if you want to skip like the bowing phase and only get the tone. Or you can use velocity to shift sample start, which makes for expressive playing. Let's turn the filter down. And in that case, you can adjust the overall velocity sensitivity with this macro. So, um, yeah, let's listen. Turn release down. So I'm playing loud now, soft, turn this down. So use the velocity for filter control. So the low pass opens the harder you play. So in that case it's always good to, to adjust the velocity overall amplitude velocity. triggering pan modulation so each note plate gets its own
feedback, delay, feedback. So you can create some very ethereal stuff. Turn the chorus down. Modulation will add amplitude modulation. make a coffee or whatever, come back and switch it off again. So you get an idea of um, these sounds. Thanks for watching. Bye.